he's having a great time while I'm getting lost somewhere in northern France. So this is really funny. My friends Dippy and Chloe, Dippy was on the channel. Actually, Dippy helped me do my front brakes. Dimpled and grooved discs with Mintex pads going on. Oh, it's gonna be ready for a track day after this, isn't it? Absolutely, mate. They are right now, and I didn't realize this, over there, doing a European road trip of their own in their BMW 330 diesel. So I'm gonna zoom in and see if I can see Chloe. So just at the ferry port in Dover, and it turns out, uh, there's our car over there. Just on this ferry here, is Jeff. I think he's doing star jumps. He's very, very, he's very small. Very small, but he's definitely there. There she is, look, that's my friend Chloe. Stood just there. <laughs> Off on their own road trip, they're going to the Nürburgring, amongst other places, uh, which is going to be cool in Diffie's uh, three series estate. Yes, apparently club class is 12 quid and it includes drinks and snacks. I've already paid £3.75 for a coffee, so why would you not just do that? I should have done that straight away. I'm on the wrong level. I need to go up. That's so funny. It was nice to see Chloe and uh, Chloe and Dip off on their voyage. He spent a long time looking for that car. 330 D, no, it's 335 diesel. All right, club class lounge. It's definitely a better place to sit. Find a nice quiet spot over here. Buffet there, look, cakes and stuff. Oh, this'll do. This is better than Lee's train, isn't it? Wonder how he's doing. I bet he's not in the club class lounge. Hmm. to uh, club class, I had two coffees, I've got two cans of coke I'm going to take with me, Pepsi and one lemonade actually, uh, I had two coffees, two cans of pot and I had four sandwiches, so well worth the 12 quid. It's just exporting that last bit of video, if anything the ferry's not quite long enough to get your work done, I think that has now exported but I had to keep the computer open to make sure it did. There we go then. Exporting successful, brilliant. Right, now we can go. The ferry doors have just opened. The ramp is just coming down. We are about to disembark. I have my toll road tag up here. Uh, I need to activate it, but I also need the loo. So I'm gonna get on the road and then I'm gonna get off the road. And then I'm gonna use um, a French service station toilet because they're probably better than the ones on the ferry. Whee! Tell you what though, 12 pound for the club class lounge. It was well worth it. I definitely got myself 12 quid. I wish I hadn't bought my coffee because I'd already bought a coffee. If I'd known, I'd have gone straight there and just had my coffee in there. So I had two coffees, four sandwiches, and I've got two cans of pop for if I start to flag later on. I don't normally drink fizzy drinks, um, but if I do get tired, a little Pepsi pick-me-up might be handy. Failing that, I'll just give them both to Lee. Um, yeah, well worth the 12 quid for that. I mean, it was a 64 pound crossing, wasn't it? So what does that make it? 76 quid? Bargain. Right, we're off. Wallet, phone, GoPro, passport, other phone, tag, car keys. Come on. Well, she starts. Of course, it's started. It's warm, actually. What's the temperature saying? 17 degrees, 650 miles left, 217 miles covered so far. So that's a total tank range of 867 miles at the moment. Not bad, eh? Right, sat nav time.
I'm outside the Eiffel Tower. Ah, bonjour. How is it? Bonjour, ça va? Ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Ça va? Ah, super. Ben, je vous attends, monsieur. Comment allez-vous? <laughs> merci. <laughs> I'll call you back, Jeff. I'm just going to get my case and then get the metro. Yeah, all right. Speak to you in a bit. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Uh, cool. So uh, Big Mac is in Paris with a French man. Um, oh, my feet were getting hot because I was wearing my uh, I was wearing my summer socks. You know, summer socks. We have summer socks now in the UK, where you wear your thickest socks for summer because uh, it's been the hottest month on record. Anyway, I got a bit warm, so now I've got my shoes off. Uh, where am I? I am 266 miles or four hours from Le Mans. Uh, he's in Paris, so he's going to be there before me. Uh, that's all there is to say. I will get going and um, check in with you in a bit. Right, I'm going to stop here. When I go to the loop, I'm going to check my maps, going to regroup, hopefully check in with Lee. And um, I ain't stopping after that. Is that the one? Yeah, see you later. Cool. I don't need fuel because I've got 10 gallons left and that's 630 miles so no I don't need to stop until Benidorm. Oh no we're not going to um not going to Benidorm are we? Oh I've already gone the wrong way. That was stupid. Hopefully that went matter. Right diesel is 171 163 here. So not too bad. Right. Embarrassingly going the wrong way in front of a load of other British people. Oh dear. Right, there's a croissantery. I don't need any croissants because I just had all my breakfast. Had all my breakfast for free in the. Uh, oh, I haven't got any flip flops on the floor. I've got some new flip flops. My buddy Craig bought me. Some new flip flops for my birthday, I'll show you. Check them out. They're called Gumbies and they are the most comfortable flip flops in the world. Right, I've got the GoPro rolling. We are good to go. I've got a nice clear windscreen because it's brand new. Uh, cool, what we got? About 65 miles before the next thing. What's it saying? Merging 20 yards, 56 miles. I was spot on. So, um, I'm gonna do 56 miles and then I'll uh, catch up with you in a bit. If there's any nice cars, I'll film them. I was going down the, the auto route and there was loads of roadworks and I got confused and I followed a load of traffic that was going off the motorway because I thought the motorway was closed, but then I realized it wasn't. So I've come basically into Boulogne, Boulogne, and now well, I'm on a scenic route. I'm on a scenic route, but whilst I am getting lost, Matt Master is making up time because he made friends with the taxi driver who, in exchange for promoting his Instagram account, has taken him around all the sites and then taken him directly to the train station. So the Mac Master's had a great day. He's been to Paris, he's been to the Arc de Triomphe, he's been to the Moulin Rouge. He's featured himself in Moulin Rouge. Uh, he's having a great time while I'm getting lost somewhere in Northern France. And I've just cost myself 45 minutes, but I've saved myself 100 euros. Because it was 45 euros to get to Le Mans, or 148 euros to get to Le Mans 50 minutes quicker. And I thought, I don't really want to be paying another 100, 100 and odd euros. So I've got the slower train. I guess it makes more stops. But I still should get in round about, uh, it says uh, 28, 28 minutes past five to Le Mans. So I could have got in 50 minutes earlier and probably beat you by quite a bit, but I'm being a cheapskate because it's cost me a bloody fortune on the Eurostar and some of it's about cost as well so hopefully if we do take in the wrong turn uh, it might work out. I think that makes it quite fair then because my sat nav is saying 
my sat there saying half past six, three hours 44. Yeah. So it's an interesting one, but again, like he could have got there a lot faster if he'd wanted to spend more money. The cost, to, the cost breakdown is gonna be really interesting. Also on this one, at the end of the day, we're not, neither of us are in a major hurry. You know, we're not participating in the race. We don't have a deadline. All we've got to do is put our tent up and have a beer. So it's not like we've said, we must be on the campsite by X time. It's kind of open today, it's all right. Um, I, for this one, I am more interested in the costs and who's had a nicer journey. Because prior to Lee getting into Paris, I think he was having a nightmare, but now it sounds like he's having a lovely time. He's much more relaxed. So it's cost and enjoyment. I've hardly spent anything, relatively speaking, so that's gonna be the interesting one. Right, I've got a toll booth to do, and I've, although I've got my toll tag thing, I haven't activated it, and that involves connecting my computer to my phone, and that involves my phone working properly. None of these things seem to be happening. So I might just go old school out the window with my debit card, because it don't really bother me. You watch now, I'll do one toll and it'll go wrong and then I'll have to pull over and set up my toll tags. Why didn't you do it last night, Jeff? Because I have got no internet at home. Like, at all. It might be one where you have to grab a tag anyway. Let's find out. Let's get the window down. Check out how organised I am. Roll into the toll booth with my window down. Get my bank card just in case. I think it's a ticket one. Yeah, it's a ticket one, so... Oh, it bloody worked! It bloody worked! No way! My toll tags are not active. I have not got the correct number plate on the car, and it worked! Wow, that's exciting. I thought it was all connected to your number plate and everything was all connected up. The number plate that is connected to my toll tags is the number plate of the Volvo 850 T5 that I didn't buy because I went and bought the V70R that I used for Benidorm, which I've now sold. And this one hasn't even got a number plate on the front because I haven't put it on yet. Don't tell anyone. Um, I just need to drill some holes in it. I haven't got a drill. Jeff, why haven't you got a drill? Because I've moved house 50,000 times and I keep losing stuff every time I move house. Jeff, why have you moved house so many times? Do you want to have a chat about the rental market? And trying to live in a nice, we, we accidentally live in a nice area. It's not my fault we live in a nice area. It's the kids' fault because they go to school there. If it was up to me, we'd move somewhere else. Yeah, let's have a chat about the rental market. Or lack of. Um, but not on this video because this video is a nice video and this video is a fun video and um, if I start chatting about renting houses I'm going to be ranting so let's not do that today let's do 40 miles on the A16 instead because of that now. Problem is, a lot of Cornwall has been ruined by, like there's these little Instagram accounts and Facebook pages that keep sharing like hidden gems. And that happened the one year, didn't it? Where there was one post that went really viral about, um, I think it was probably Port Curno, down at Land's End. And then you, like, you couldn't move there for the whole summer because there's one road in. Yeah and it you just can't take the people can it so like this is the thing the ideal of cornwall is so much better than the actual reality of cornwall in the summer yeah no, i think really i want to go to cornwall 20 years ago yeah yeah but i think you can say <laughs> that's the same for everywhere isn't it do you want to go on holiday yeah where are we going 1995. <laughs>
First nice car we've seen for a while. Some sort of a uh, was it a Toyota MR2? Let's chase him, see what happens. I'm bored of driving slowly anyway. So you've done it me, you've arrived early, you've had a good time, and I'm still on the road. Yeah, well, you know what? I actually thought of you, because I got to the train station, I got off the Eurostar, which was an absolute nightmare. That's another story. And then I thought, do I go straight to the mall? Because I've got to get home before the Eurostar and all the sides. So I thought, what would Jeff do? Jeff would have time on his hands, and he would go and do with the sightseeing. So I did, and I took the slowest train to the mall. What would Jeff do? We're gonna put that on a t-shirt. Um, so yeah, so basically, I'm still an hour and a half away, and you're there, but you left an hour before me this morning, so that means you win by half an hour. How does it feel? You're winning your first ever challenge. I sort of felt like you almost won the Benidorm one. I won by more than half an hour, because I spent a couple of hours in Paris. Oh, so this is a big win for the, I was going to say it's a win for the evangelists, but you're not in your EV, so it's not, is it? <laughs> We're going to get a pint, I'll catch you in a bit. Right, enjoy your pint, speak to you later. Yeah, so that's how it feels to win a YouTube challenge. A bit of a weird challenge, this one, because we were both coming to Le Mans anyway. Um, and that was the thing, it wasn't really ever about a challenge. We were just coming down here and other excuses. Basically, I've now just ticked over to 400 miles since I left my house. I've driven 400 miles today. It's 5.42 now, so that's 4.42 time at home, and I left my house at half past five this morning. It's a lot harder to cover distance in northern France than it is southern France, but now I'm on this road for about 90 miles, and then it's beer o'clock. And then, like, Le Mans, and, like, cars, and racing, and classic cars, and all that sort of, you know, Ford versus Ferrari, Ford GT40, Ferrari 250 GTO Heritage. That's what we're going there for. Probably should have mentioned the Jaguar D-types as well, but we'll, we'll get onto that in the coming videos. Cool, right, I'm gonna vanquish these last 90 miles and uh, then we'll have a beer. I have some huge news. This is the biggest news ever. Right, I thought my route was all messed up and wrong, but the Ferrari that I followed earlier on and then lost, I think is about to come past me. That means I was ahead of it. How is it possible that this guy has ended up behind me? Is that the same car? Yes, it is. I recognize the number plate. How did you end up behind me? How is that even possible? I'm in a diesel Volvo. I'm doing 60 mile an hour. You should be at Le Mans already. You should have won the race. I know he's gone past me now, but that makes me feel better about the route that I chose. I just don't understand how that happened. He disappeared ages ago at a toll booth. <laughs> Uh, rabbit and hair springs to mind, doesn't it? Anyway, Ferrari's gone now and I'm back to staring at this red truck. Fuel economy, he's hanging around 52. Thing is, these roads are faster than the UK, and in the UK, I was stuck at like 50 mile an hour, but you can go a lot faster in France and your fuel economy comes down as a result, but so does your ability to get places. That goes up, so swings and roundabouts. Okay, I'm on my second pint, so uh, there we go. Let me know when you're uh, really close, okay? 
Let me let me wolf my pint down. I'm just charging with my uh, laptop. Two pints before I get there. Ha! Lightweight. You got to do at least five when you get there first on a YouTube challenge. I think he's at that cafe there. That's a very Matt Master cafe, isn't it? Bar hotel. That's what he would have done. He would have pulled up there and he would have gone bar hotel Wi-Fi fast upload speed and he walked in and said I'm a very important youtuber how fast is your Wi-Fi can I have access to your Wi-Fi please and two beers what oh, a nice jag down there I don't know if you saw that on camera right you are the Mac Mister Le Mac Master. Uh, I've got to park somewhere and stop doing this French accent. He'll be in there paying his bill, won't he? That's where it is. Where have you been? Don't, don't worry. Not took your time. I know, I know. These cars, the old fashioned way of getting around, it didn't work, does it? I'm two beers down. Two beers in. Two beers in. I'm so jealous of your beers. Two beers in. Do you know what this has said, right? I'll tell you what. Go on. I'm going to say this on your. I'll see you in a minute. Do you know what, right? I've learned something today. Yeah. First of all, I've learned what it feels like to be you. Yeah. Right? Because what happened was, you get there, right? It's, it's all right. It's a win for, for about 20 minutes. Yeah. And then you're like... <sighs> it's a win for the first bit of the first pint. Yeah. And then you're just on your own. Then you're on your own. And you think, where's, where's my mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, you've only had to... How long have you been waiting? About an hour and a bit? About an hour and a bit. And I also, right, I don't know whether you told them this, but, so I got to Paris, and I thought, what would Jeff do? You had a nice little day out, didn't you? I found a, yeah, I found it, and I, and do you know what? I got the most amazing Uber driver, who said, I'll just turn my thing off, I won't charge you for it. Um, and he's got a, an Instagram channel, and he says, I'll just take you around Paris. So I saw the Eiffel Tower, I saw the Arc de Triomphe, I saw the Moulin Rouge, I saw the tallest building in Paris, I had, had about a, an hour and a half drive round, saw everything, then I said to him, oh, I need to get to the uh, metro. I had a, a fantastic time. You made a friend? I made a friend, I got his number, I gave him my number, and then I got on the train. You fell in love in the most romantic city in the world. You fell in love in Paris. Well, man bonding. You've basically had a really nice day. It had a fantastic day. It wasn't a disaster. I even saw on the train a guy that got chased after with two policemen with guns uh, on the train to here, to Le Mans. Yeah. Um, so it all worked out really well. Yeah, it was good. Uh, but I have to say, the Eurostar is a nightmare. I thought you were going to have like a luxury experience on that, but the photo you sent me, it just looked like a cattle train. It, it was literally like cattle shoved on a train. It was, I mean, it was quick. It was about 22 minutes and you were in, and you're in France. Yeah. So, I mean, that is amazing. It is brilliant. You don't even know. You don't even know you, you'd be crossing anything. Yeah. Like, do you know what they should do is, they should do a, a welcome to France kind of thing when they go through the tunnel. Yeah. But they don't. Should. You don't even know when you're there. You, you don't know. You don't know when you're in. No. That is shocking. I've learned one thing. Go on. If you want to win a challenge and you have an electric car, yeah. leave it on the drive and get the train. I think that makes sense. This is a huge win for evangelists. You can beat a 30-year-old diesel in your electric car if you use the TGV. Exactly. And you're a star, yeah. <laughs> now, I was jealous at that point. You sent me a screen grab and you were doing 99 mile an hour oh, it was, it on was, the Tougeveur. You can tell when your ears go, you yeah. start to get that pressure, yeah. And it is actually flying. Uh, yeah, it was going really quick. Yeah. However, it wasn't the best experience, I have to no. say. No. It was really